Hey, what's up team? Eddie Gray back at it again. And let me ask you something. Has your screen ever looked like this? Just a ton of plugins everywhere. You can't decipher what is what. You can't find the mixer. You just seem to be jumbled up all over the place and you need a quick fix. Well, let me give it to you. Rather than having to go to the top left corner of all of these plugins and clicking here so that they go away, you don't have to do that anymore. Got two options. You can hit V like Victor to hide them. So this is a nice workflow tip, right? The other thing you could do is if you wanted to get rid of all of them altogether, hold shift, click, and everything is now gone. All right, I wanna talk about two things today. Now this is for those of you that need to organize your screen. You need a little bit of wiggle room. Perhaps you're on a 15 inch laptop and you just need a better user experience. Well, I got you. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to create something called a pack folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and select these two regions. See, I've got 50 something tracks and I just wanna look at the screen in such a way where everything is clear. I know exactly what I'm looking at and my eyes are not bogged down by visual information. So I'm gonna go ahead and control click right here. And you can see that under folder, pack folder is here. We're not talking about take folder. That's a whole nother thing altogether. Here under pack folder, we're gonna hit the key command, control option, command P like Paul. All right, and then from here, I'm gonna go ahead and double click this interesting looking region and look at what happens. We have an isolated screen where we can effectively work on the edit. Let's say maybe you're doing some manual gain staging or perhaps you're working on creating some fades or just treating the audio, making sure that everything is sounding up to par. So let's say once we get done with the edit, you're satisfied with the results. To get out of here, you can do one of two things. You can double click the background of the workspace or top left corner, there's a icon here, which will bring you back to the initial tracks area. Now, something that you need to bear in mind is it is the same screen. The only thing that Logic does is it just gives you the ability to isolate those elements so that, again, you're not visually bombarded and you can work with clarity, work with peace. I love doing this for backup vocals. I love doing this for anything that I'm trying to treat as a group. I think it's a great tip and I want you to try it out and I want you to let me know what you think in the comments. Again, if you wanna get out of here, all you have to do is double click and then you're out. One thing to take note of that the song will continue playing. It is still in the background. You're not, you're not um, isolating this event per se. You're just isolating it visually. So let me press play. We're still going to hear the rest of the music. So this is just a way to help you out in terms of your workflow, all right? I want you to give it a spin and let me know your findings. Again, to go back, I'm gonna click here. Now, what about exiting the procedure? Like, what if you don't want this feature anymore? What do you do? Well, if I control click here, and go back to that same menu set, you wanna unpack folder to existing tracks, you can also do it to new, but in this case, we'll leave it right back where we started. I don't need this VCA track anymore, so we're gonna get rid of that, and now we're back to square one. All right, team, I'm gonna get out of here. I want you to have the best day ever. I want you to focus on your goals. I want you to get to that next level, one day at a time, one brick at a time. You know how we do it. Have yourselves a great week. We'll talk soon, bye.